Okay, it's time to talk about one of the more one of the most important topics in waves, the superposition of waves. How do two waves add up? So let's say if you have a wave which looks like this, and if you have an another wave which looks like that, and let's say they are present at the same time and they are moving in the same direction. So they are sort of uh, moving in the same line, uh, which means like um, something like this. And on top of this, we also have this kind of wave. And if you have a receiver or a microphone, and you measure how these waves look like, you will see on your screen, um, which sort of displays how the wave looks like, you will see the wave will look like something like this. So see the two waves add up like that. Uh, let's take some more um, understandable example. Let's say if you have, uh, so this was case one. Let's take case two. If you have a wave, which is like this, and if you have another wave, which look like that, then the combined wave will look like something like this. So it will have the same frequency but will have a changed amplitude. As a matter of fact, they are right on top of each other. They are right on top of each other. Then, and they are exactly the same. Then if this guy has amplitude A1 and this guy has amplitude A2, then this guy will have an amplitude A1 plus A2. For the third example, let's say you have a wave like this and another wave which looks like, like that. Let's say they are exactly sort of oriented and they are exactly the same. And if this has a uh, amplitude A1 and this has amplitude A2, then the final wave uh -huh, will have an amplitude A1 minus A2 or A2 minus A1, whichever is bigger. Okay, something let's say A1 is greater than A2 here. So you see, it reduces the uh, amplitude if they are exactly the same and on top of each other. And this is called constructive interference and this is called destructive interference. So here they are constructing, helping each other and they are destroying each other. Um, but if you have two waves, something like, let's say if you have two, there's a string and there's a wave moving like that and you have a wave moving like this. So these guys will meet, will produce some sort of interference pattern and then they will move away from each other. They will not kill each other. So waves are not going to kill each other. They just move move away. They will make an interference pattern. And they will move away from each other. Now what is the criteria that the two waves will form a constructive interference or a destructive interference? So uh, the criteria is that 
this wave has come from some place we do not know but it has come here and this is how it looks right now and there is some more wave there is some another wave which is, has traveled and which looks like this we don't know how much it has traveled and how, for, how from where it has traveled but right now this is the this is the instantaneous situation this is the situation right now and if they match up then there is constructive interference when they match up and for the case I don't know what is the opposite word for match up but say against I don't know what word to cook here so you can say against each other then it is destructive interference. I will talk in more quantitative terms when we um, 